Are you serious? Are you very serious? I'm very serious. Okay. So I'm deadly serious. Okay. Sham Dakin is the place to be. Protected by the DEP. Sniffing pine cones really gets me high. Fuck Dinger, just give me some country pie. No! You are insane! Goodbye, Mrs. Jane! A shandagan we are the... <laughs> okay, I'm serious. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Is that too loud? It sounds terrible. No, 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 it's fine. It sounds up to it. It sounds terrible. I'm going to do this really quick, and I'm going to wind up with something even better. <laughs> Is that because it would be quick? No, I, I just wanted to make it painless. There comes a time into each community when we must stand together as one. I'm serious. There are species dying every single day. In a few brave souls must lead the way. <laughs> we are the hills. <laughs> we are the cat skills. We are the water that ten billion need for living. There are thieves among us <laughs> who would try to steal the world. <laughs> if they could, they would. They're unforgiving. Well, 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 if you think you're drinking. That was the Cindy Walker part. <laughs> just another tap. Or if this is just another dumb rap. Well, there's a well of wisdom and a well of water, too. What you drink, the choice is up to you. We are the hills, we are the Catskills, we are the water that 10 billion need for living. We must save the mountains and the sky and oceans too. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know the cleanup job is up to you. We are the woods, we got the goods, we have the will, the catter skill, the spillway and the portal. We have the right, we have the might, we know the evil that we face is not immortal. Oh. Repeat as often as necessary. This is really, the this I'm really deadly serious. Really nice. I'm not kidding with this stuff. It's real. Um, nice. I'm going to lighten up a little bit here. This is a little you bit. Don't have to. <laughs> Look, in the Catskills, everybody knows the cool, clear water just flows and flows, quenching the thirst of the local folk and 10 million people who live below. It even fills up your toilet bowl, and you can't live without that liquid gold. <laughs> Well, along comes a golfing dinosaur with the breath of death and a diesel roar to crush the mountains with one big toe till all that's left is 18 holes. Godzilla's gotta go! Well, we don't give a hoot what game you play. Scram is what the people say. Keep your clubs and your dead-end jobs, your pesticides and herbicides and road-clogging mobs. Cancer in the workers you pay to mow. That ain't a natural way to grow. Godzilla's gotta go! <laughs> Well, let's beat together like one big 
big heart. The heart of these hills is the place to start. Tell a neighbor about how this poem beat the monster and sent it home. And send a message if there's any more. Don't come knocking on the Catskill door. Yeah. Golfzilla's gotta go. Okay, I've got one more song. Yes. I know. I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to make this easy on you. Well, set a spell. Take your shoes off, would you? <laughs> no, um, okay. Well, come and listen to my story about a man named Dean. His string of business oh. failures must have made him kind of mean. So he followed him, a guru, to a mountain nice and green, and meditated on another money-making scheme. Golf, that is. Eighteen holes. Goodbye, stars. Oh. Hmm. Well, the next thing you know, he taps some millionaires. So then Emily says, Dean, clip your doggone hair. So he cut his ponytail, which is what it ought to be, because that horse ass bush was a gross obscenity. <laughs> Well, Bean was always good at spending other people's money. And as for honor in a contract, well, <laughs> he thinks that's funny. So he built a Catskill boner, which a dollar never seen. A fancy schmancy hotel and a crosswalk in between. A Hammerson, that is. Algae wraps. Parking lots. Well, if you've seen one mole, well, you know you've seen them all. But this one, Burton, so he built an even bigger shopping mall. Oh. Insisting that the workers wear revealing lingerie. And he got busted for harassment of their sexuality. Huh. Along came Mr. Spitzer, who had problems just like his. Who blew his reputation in a steaming pile of jizz. So get her begging our town council for a special empire zone to cut back all the taxes on his stupid Bel Air bone. <laughs> well, I ain't throwing stones, but it's up to you and me to stop Dean's Bel Air babbling before he cuts a tree. And you'll always find a forest here in our vicinity and enjoy some bed and breakfast Catskill hospitality. Pine Hill, Billy, that is, and set a spell. <laughs> and I don't know if anybody's planning on going to the town hall meeting uh, next Monday night, but Dean is going to try to get Empire Zone designation to rescue this ghastly, stupid resort project and get everyone in New York State to pay his taxes for him. And his threat is. If he doesn't get the Empire Zone, he's going to go for an IDA program, which will get everyone in Shandaken to pay his taxes for him. So please show up at the town hall meeting on Monday night. What time? It's Get there at like 5.30, because they're going to be packing the place with union people and other people to try to get this what thing What does IDA happen. mean, Dave? It's a, it's a tax break. Like the Emerson that he built... Yeah. Had an IDA loan, which means, not an IDA loan, it's called a pilot program, payment in lieu of taxes. So he doesn't pay property tax. And it great, gradually increases over property the years. Property income deferment something. It's like, yeah, so he doesn't pay his property tax. And wouldn't you know it, his hotel burned, like, just when he was about to start paying tax on it. Wouldn't you know yeah, it? Yeah, wouldn't you know. And wouldn't you know it, even with his IDA program, he didn't pay his taxes until the very last minute when he was threatened of losing the whole program and ready to ask us for an empire zone to support his new I, resort. That's not I me. Mean. I'm deadly serious about this. So I, if anybody is interested in saving the Catskills, come to the next town board meeting. We'll be Thank you very much. Rest assured. Hey,